This world, the Plantation and Commodities Ministry will explore the potential of cooperation with China, particularly involving rubber-based technology that can be widely used in the construction industry. Its minister, Dr. Sri Fadilah Yusuf, said the ministry is planning to hold a mission to China to discuss cooperation in areas that can be developed. Kalau kita melihat hasilan produk kita yang utama uh, dari segi getah ialah uh, yang dapat menangani ataupun uh, dalam bidang pembinaan, construction, ya, iaitu untuk pastikan bangunan yang dibina boleh tahan daripada gegaran gempa bumi misalnya. Fadila also noted that Lembaga Getah Malaysia has collaborated with Tun Abdul Razak Research Centre to produce a solid technology based on seismic rubber-bearing products to deal with structural movement due to temperature changes or protection from tremors due to earthquakes. Bursa Malaysia has inked a Memorandum of Understanding MOU with the Stock Exchanges of Indonesia and Thailand to explore the establishment of an Inter-Regional Environmental, Social and Governance ESG-linked ecosystem. In a statement, Bursa said this will drive business value creation and foster sustainable development in the ASEAN region. The MOU marks a significant milestone in enhancing regional cooperation and advancing sustainability in ASEAN. It also signifies a commitment to greening supply chains while recognizing the potential to optimize the interconnectedness and comparability of ESG data within the region. It will also drive responsible growth in their respective markets, which, while offering cross-border opportunities related to ESG investments across the three markets. Several Southeast Asian companies are considering listing in the United States, banking on strong investor appetite for emerging market growth in the absence of Chinese stock offerings. Singapore-based entertainment firm Cash Cloud International and Thai insurance tech firm said they were looking into New York as one of their IPO venues. This follows recently announced plans by Vietnamese internet company VNG Corp and Philippines real estate company Double Dragon Corp to list in the U.S., some Southeast Asian companies seeking listings in the U.S. look to raise between 300 million and 1 billion U.S. dollar, with valuations ranging from 1.5 to 8 billion U.S. dollars. Moving on, Malaysia's trade performance in August contracted by 19.8 percent to 213 billion ringgit, as compared to 265.8 billion ringgit in August 2022. According to Chief Statistician Dr. Sri Muhammad Uzin Mahidin, exports decreased by 26.4 billion ringgit, reflecting a decrease in both re-exports re and domestic exports. Consistent with the reduction in total trade, exports registered a decrease of 18.6% and imports declined by 21.2% to 97.9 billion ringgit, while trade surplus continued to expand to 17.3 billion ringgit. The government said the slowdown was similar to the country's key trading partners, notably South Korea, China, Taiwan and Indonesia, which recorded negative trade growth and a drop in their global imports. The Beirut-based Union of Arab Banks has called on Arab banks to provide $1 trillion in order to support the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, by 2030. It was reported that the call was jointly made with the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for West Asia on the first day of the SDG Summit, which is being held in New York on the sidelines of this year's general debate of the General Assembly. The financing aimed to accelerate SDG implementation in 22 Arab states and to support the achievement of the six major SDG transitions. The following areas are social protection, energy, education, food systems, digital transformation, as well as biodiversity and nature. And that's all the time we have for Bizworld. I'm Muhammad Amanda and thanks for investing your time with us.